everyone, I'm Lori Harder, and this is your spot to get the tips and inspiration you need to reconnect to your soul and fall in love with your life. So, today I want to chat with you about something that I think people have a really tough time distinguishing, and that is going with either their gut or their intuition, whatever you want to call it. So, we make so many choices in a day. So many choices, I can't even tell you. When you actually take a step back and look at all of the choices you make, even by the time you have only had your cup of coffee, you have made the choice of if you want to wear a bathrobe or not. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to go naked. Maybe you want to wear pajamas. Maybe you want to brush your teeth first. Maybe you want to wake up with a mantra. Maybe you want to have almond milk in your coffee creamer. I don't know. Perhaps you're thinking of a million other things. So you've already, you're already making choices for that afternoon, for that evening, for that night. So out of all of these choices, why are, so, some in, why are some so incredibly hard to make, right? So let's really look at this. So if we go to a, a pharmacy or a drugstore and we need, we need a new toothbrush, <laughs> we're just going for the most basic choices right now and you see a green toothbrush or a pink toothbrush, your whole freaking life, you have loved pink. And it's an easy choice, right? Pink, it's a no-brainer. Okay, well, what if, we're gonna totally switch it up, right? Because we're gonna go with pretending these toothbrushes actually have feelings. <laughs> what if these toothbrushes had feelings? That's when we start bringing our logical mind in. So instead of saying, well, I've loved pink my whole life, of course pink, pink, Pink makes me happy. This is absolutely my color. It's always been my color. It makes me happy. It makes me feel good. All of a sudden, you left green out. <laughs> now, what is green going to say? And green feels bad. And now you can't decide whether you should do green or pink, right? So this is what actually happens in life is we know. We always know. There is always a deeper inner knowing of what would actually make us happier. And what's a hell yes in our life? And what's a hell no? But all of a sudden our logical mind comes in because there's either feelings involved or there's consequences involved. There is always, always going to be a consequence involved. And even if the consequence is somewhat negative, sometimes the somewhat negative or very negative can actually be the best thing for us. So sometimes saying no, despite it being the most challenging thing in the world, even though you know it's gonna open up a door for you, or it's gonna open up so much free time, or it's gonna let go of so much dead weight in your life, yes, there's that consequence of, wow, this person might be hurt, even though they're not the best person to have in your life anymore, or this person could totally talk crap about you, and they're probably going to, and you're gonna have to deal with that. Or, do you want to continue on with the actual consequence of keeping something so negative in your life, resenting someone, resenting something, staying at that job, or keeping that negative attitude? There's always a consequence. So what I want you guys to do is just go to that place of knowing because I, I truly feel and know that you know what it is and you know what it feels like, but you're just not tapped in. So if you can remember the toothbrush analogy, as simple and cheesy as that is, it's immediate, right? You know it, you feel it in your gut, you feel it in your gut if it's wrong or you feel it in your gut if it excites you. So really start tuning into that. And it doesn't mean you have to start making these decisions right away. Like, oh, that's it. I have to just be so, um, so incredibly clear and cut this person off and do this and do that. Start small, start small. So even start, you can do something like this. You can even start as small as in a restaurant. I know this is crazy, but for some really indecisive people, you know who you are, I've been there, you can even start with what meal you want. You know, you probably were excited for it. You saw it right away, it jumped out at you, it feels like the thing that maybe you're curious about, but then sometimes we go with the safe thing, right? Or we go with the thing that maybe we heard was good from the waitress, and all of a sudden you're like, I knew I shouldn't have, I knew it. <laughs> Well, that's where you start following that and just start testing it out. Seeing where you, uh, see where you start to say, yes, that was what I wanted. It was that initial gut reaction. It felt good. It, it excited me. Start going with that. So start testing them on small things, right? And start seeing, uh, where this can come up in your life. So you guys, I would love your comments below. Let me know what you're going to try this on. Maybe you're way more advanced and you want to really start listening into your intuition 
um, and taking some bigger leaps. I would love to hear what you're going to do today or what you're going to do this week. Leave your comment below. Make sure that you share this if you loved it. And go to earnyourhappy.com if you want to hear all of the latest podcasts. And until next time, you guys, bye-bye.